Here's a pattern in React that I guarantee you haven't seen before. It involves using a ref and use effect. So here we have a page component which receives an onChange function as its props. And then it simply calls this onChange function inside of this use effect over here. Now, of course, we know when it comes to use effect, right, everything that you use inside of the body of the effect has to go inside of the dependency array. Now, this is a problem and it's not exactly what we want because as we know, in React, functions are not stable references. And so every single time that this page component here is going to be rendered, this onChange here is going to have a different idea identity, which is going to cause the use effect to fire over and over again, which is not what we want. Now, ideally, what we want to do is to remove the onChange function from the dependency array. But if we do that, we're violating the rules of hooks. And also we have ESLint here complaining that we're doing something wrong. So this is not the solution. Let me show you the really cool pattern to solve this using a ref. So here's what I did. I created here this onChange ref using the use ref hook, and I passed it here the onChange function as its initial value. And then inside of the body of this main use effect over here, I'm calling the onChange ref instead. Now refs are not reactive, which means that they don't have to be provided in the dependency array of use effect. Now we also have now a new and extra use effect here with no dependency array, which means that this effect here is going to run on every single render of the component. And the reason why we do this is because we want this ref here to always be in sync with the latest value of this on change function in case that it changes. In case that it's using some state variable or something, we don't want to have stale values. And so on every render, we basically resync the function from props with the ref over here. So now our on change ref is always going to have the latest value of the function, but we also don't have to provide it any dependency array of use effect. And this nicely solves our problem.